and um, that will sort you out. Now then, I mentioned earlier, this game tonight, Liverpool and Everton, has been played more often than any other English derby. 160 games stretching all the way back to 1894. Liverpool, would you believe, have won only one of the last ten. That was the last one, 3-2 at Anfield. Six of those ten matches have finished in draws, incidentally. They've won eight out of 13 at Anfield. Everton's last win, their one win, in fact, in that time, the 2-1 a couple of years back when Andre Kinchowski scored. The only player, of course, Andy, to have played in the Merseyside. I know, I and know, Glasgow I Derby. know. We all make mistakes. Don't worry about <laughs> it. It's a tough question, that. <laughs> Two big events taking place in Liverpool tonight. The match, of course, and Jeff Shreves is with um, someone I think we would instantly recognise with more on that. Mel, your first ever gig in Liverpool, you must be kicking yourself that it's on Derby night. I can't believe it's worked out tonight, but, you know, the show must go on, and I've got someone in the wings telling me the scores. Well, from your shirt, it would appear that your heart is at Anfield, is that right? Well, it is. It's going to be... No, my heart will be on the stage. My heart's in Liverpool. Just how long have you been a Liverpool fan? Since you were what age? I think as long as I can remember, really. My dad and my mum, actually, all my family are Liverpool fans. Is that why you chose them over Everton? No, just because they're better. <laughs> Controversy, well, that's a fact, isn't it, you know? <laughs> How much do you manage to keep up with their results? Um, not a lot recently, actually. Um, I used to do more when I had more time, but when you're in America, it's really difficult as well because I spend a lot of time over there. But um, this season, hopefully, I'll be... I'm spending more time here this year, so hopefully I'll keep up with them. Tell me, as a scouser, what does Derby Day mean? Um, it's an exciting day. It's a nice day to be in the city, actually. There's a pretty cool vibe. There's always a great vibe in Liverpool, but it's a bit of an extra special day. So it's cool. And what's it like if you win or if you lose? Um, well, I don't really know about the losing thing, because Liverpool usually win, don't they? Um, um, oh gosh, I don't know. It's, it's horrible, because, you see, when I lose, I don't take the mickey out of other people, because I don't like being taken the mickey out of myself. Now, it seems to be the current trend for pop stars to marry footballers. Any plans in that department? There's only one, isn't there? Oh, no, there's two. Um, no, I haven't met any nice footballers. Oh, no, I have met nice footballers, but not any that I want to marry. And we'll give your gig an extra kick, if it were tonight, if you know that the Reds are doing well. It certainly will. I might even do You'll Never Walk Alone as me encore. <laughs> have you got a message for the lads? Um, good luck, lads. Do it. Thanks, Mel. Thank All you. Day. I'll see one of the famous four, of course, one of the Spice Girls, and here are two Old Spice Boys, um, Francis <laughs> and Parry. Well, I've been called many, many things, but never that before. Uh, at the moment, Richard, Gerard Houllier's reshaped Liverpool squad seems to be taking two steps forward and one step backwards. So I think, really, particularly with Everton's record against them in recent times, Trevor, this is an important night for Liverpool. There's always an important night when you're playing against the local rivals, but I think there's uh, a sense of uh, unease around Liverpool, Alan. I think it comes from the fact that uh, there's so much inconsistency with this team. I think confidence comes from winning football games and also keeping clean sheets and this season you know they've only been able to do that on one occasion keep a clean sheet of all teams Arsenal so that's why they're a little bit uh, nervous about tonight's match well, both managers made wholesale changes for the Worthington Cup ties in midweek but it's back to normal tonight for Liverpool new goalkeeper Sander Vesterveld who's played in every premiership match so far a back four of Begard Hegem, Jamie Carragher Sammy Hoopier and a change at left back with Steve Staunton replacing Steve the Stone, injured Dominic Matteo. Vladimir Smitzer returns on the right of midfield. Jamie Redknapp partners Dietmar Hamann, the German international, making his first appearance since his ankle injury on the first day of the season. Patrick Berger completes the quartet. And for the first time in five months, Gerard Houllier is able to uh, start with his first choice attacking partnership of Robbie Fowler and Michael Owen. For Everton, their first choice keeper Thomas Moura is now back in training. But Walter Smith has been delighted with the form of his stand-in, Paul Gerrard. In the back four, Irishman Richard Dunn plays on the right. Michael Ball replaces the injured David Unsworth at left back. And there's Scottish Steele in the heart of defence in the shape of David Weir and Richard Goff. The midfield lines up like this. On the right, Don Hutchison, recovered from a calf injury. In the centre, John Collins, a new signing, Abel Xavier, a Portuguese. Portuguese international with Nick Barmby on the left. And up front, the man whose goals was, uh, really rescued Everton at the end of last season, Francis Jeffers and Kevin Campbell. Yes, Liverpool with a 4-4-2 formation. I think the first thing that strikes you is that tonight it looks a rather experimental side considering what's at stake, a massive game against the local rivals. I think that's the first time the back four have ever played together. 
in midfield. I'm sure that uh, Julio is welcoming back her man, but it's taken a real risk. Apart from 25 minutes of Milton game against Sheffield Wednesday, he's yet to play even a warm-up game. The strength of the side, obviously, is going forward in Fowler and Owen, two outstanding forwards. But at the back, they're looking for a clean sheet tonight.